Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks and welcome ye all to Ashen. I know not much about this game. It, I only came across this game today because I saw a review on IGN for it on PC. At which point I thought, oh, it must just be on PC. Uh, but it wasn't. It's on the Xbox One and we are about to play it on the Xbox One X. Uh, anyone who's interested in trying this game out, you can actually get Game Pass for a pound for a month at the moment. And this is on Game Pass, so you could actually try it out for a pound and just cancel your subscription if you don't want to stay on Game Pass. Or you can purchase it for £33 or so. I believe it's a DLC only, well, download only. I don't know if you can get it on disc or not. Anyway, it is apparently very Dark Souls-esque, if you will. In fact, the controls are almost identical. Got an 8.5 out of 10 from IGN. Open world RPG, and it is also co-op. Of which I won't be playing co-op, but let's give it a whirl. Let's dig straight in without further ado. Uh, <laughs> is it going to tell me I have to have it then? Okay, so it looks like we can... The selected profile does not have the required online privileges. Game will start in offline mode. Yeah, that's fine. As long as I can play it offline. Adjust gamma until the left symbol cannot be seen and the right symbol is visible. Uh, actually, we'll leave it at 50. I can see it a bit too much, probably. But... Uh... Children of Sidna. Uh, we can't select that as it happens. Uh, let's just have a look at what's in the settings. Uh, graphics wise, 1080p mode is off. Why? What's it on at the moment? Hmm. I wonder if 1080p mode maybe does a higher frame rate or something. I mean, my capture device seems to think I'm capturing at 1080p. It's possible that it's a, a 4K game. Uh, but, hmm. Because I'm playing on the X, maybe? I don't know. I am confused. What is that all about, people? Do you want to accept these settings? Well, nothing seemed to change as it happens, so just leave it as it was, I think. Not sure what that was all about, people. Audio, we have the usual suspects, gameplay, tutorial enable, we will need that, with me being in charge. Adventure camera and soft lock on. Controls are what they are. Uh, sensitivity. Yeah, you can change the camera sensitivity. Just how it is when we get in there, I suppose. And you've got your languages, of which we're not going to change. Onward. Oh, hello. Back in there again, Steve. Ah, get to design your character. So it's got this sort of faceless art style to it, which I quite liked when I saw the gameplay footage of it. Uh, so, let's take a look. Yep, okay, so feminine, masculine, fair enough. It's not man or not male or female anymore, is it? <laughs> it's feminine, masculine in Dark Souls as well, I think. Similar hairstyle. Spin the camera, or you can spin the character around. Vagabond. 
Quite like the detail, to be fair. Sleek. <laughs> Aerodynamic, that's one word for it. Yeah, I'll stick with detail, actually. Facial hair. Uh, I should think not on a, on a lady. The bearded ladies. Hair colour. Uh, go for our nice red that I always seem to go for. Obviously some sort of fetish I've got, people. Skin colour. Uh, I think we're probably alright. Black or, uh, as black or as white as you want, really. I think that's, that's the one it was on. That's quite pinky, that one, isn't it? That's quite a natural skin tone. Yeah, I might go with that one, actually. Why not? And that's it, really. So, very minimalistic. Where you can hit the randomise button. Didn't seem to be able to name her. Stars, the ashen fly. Beneath the nine realms move among the tree of worlds many branches. Proudly standing upon the darkness, its roots delving into caverns where light will never venture. It was when a single great ashen flew down to rest upon her bows, that the light woke among the realms. After eons, the great ashen grew weak with age and fell from the tree of worlds, resting upon the plains of darkness, drawing what few breaths remained. In the throes of death, the light dimmed, and the ashen's final three breaths became the three golden ages of light. The first age saw three creatures of the dark plains rise above all others. The elder dark fed upon the light and thrived. The second marked the coming of the listener matriarchs, titans who revered the light. The third breath was the age of man, Geffen's children. When the final breath ended, there would be a time of darkness. In that black age, the cities of man fell into ruin toppled by war and emptied by pestilence and famine. Proud Lathyrus drowned beneath the ash. From dust to flesh, from darkness to radiance, soon the ashen will be reborn from the ruins of its old body and a new age of light will begin. I served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light, even though it broke me with its brilliance. Now, look to the mountain peak, for that is where fresh hope blooms. The Ashen is reborn. Behold the first glimmer of the light that will sweep the darkness from these plains. Wow, it's a really gorgeous game. Wow, that feels like... It might actually be 60 frames per second, that is it? It's well smooth. 
Blimey. Right, I assume anyone with a light above the head is going to be talkable toable. That's a phrase. Yeah. The cliffs ahead should provide a good vantage point. Beware, the rebirth of the Ashen will be violent. Well, I'd expect nothing less, my friend, in an RPG. Now, I think it does have bonfires. Can we light this torch? <laughs> even the even the jump back button is B, which is what Dark Souls was, and roll. So it's already feeling very much like uh, Dark Souls. Yeah, right bumper and right trigger are your two. Okay, what's that? That was the up on the D-pad. No idea. Could have been save or something. No idea. Or I could have been taking a picture for all I know. But I've got a torch, so why can't I... Light my torch? Well, that's jump. Well, funnily enough, jump's easier than Dark Souls, because you don't have to do that sprint thing. You can just hit Y and it jumps. Whoa. This is Das. It's a couple of these spaceship. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. So if you're not playing co-op, you get a little companion, dear. Rafferts now. Devon has the ears, you see. Uh, okay. Get away with you. Be gone, foul beast. Come on now, there must be a way of me doing the torch. Wonder what you mean. Oh, there you go. Menu. Damage stun critical hit with sharp teeth of rock. Hit by club is like being eaten by a cave. What? <laughs> a rock was the first weapon and it's never gone out of fashion. Broken spiked club, alright. It's just a club then, it's not a... It looks like it, uh, has, it could be lit up, but it's not. If you look at it closely, it's got spikies on it. So it's just one of them. Onward. Oh, hello. There's no coming back from that, people. Broken bone hatchet. An axe of bone, primitive yet brutal. Uh, Alright. You can switch between the slots and what you're about to pick up. For reasons that will become clearer later, no doubt. I'm really impressed with how smooth this game is running. Art style's gorgeous. Hello, who are you? Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> didn't even get to hit him. <laughs> uh, plank shield. A solid union of scrap and wood. Seemed reasonable. Is that better than the one I've got? Can we compare or not? RT for info. Ah, right, okay. Bio is in a broken spike club. Uh, the axe is 30 36. The broken club is 39 30.
What? How do you how do you select something? Select. That's the one. So that's got. Thirty thirty six on it. That's got thirty nine. All right, my club's actually better. I do apologise. Let's go back to where we were, people. Right, okay. Just getting used to things, folks. Getting used to things. Onward. Oh well, I jumped the gap. Uh, it's quite a long gap, that isn't it. Now do we sprint? Really? Not at that speed. I'm never going to make that. No, I did. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Maybe it was meant to happen, people. Ooh, what's this? Apple cricket increases your stamina regeneration speed for a short time. Nice. Stamina things. Never use them. Oh, it's a statue. I thought it was a dude. Ah, right. We can climb back up. Very good. Let's have a quick look around here first. Something shining in the distance. White support. Instantly heals a moderate amount. All right, nice, nice. I think we need to figure out how our uh, quick menus work for healing and such likes. Ah. Oh, hello. oh, Jesus Christ. Right, that goes down and up of whatever you've got in your slots, I think. I'm going to assume that X is going to let you heal them. So we could put that in select and it can go in one of these two by the looks of it and that could go in another one if I wanted it to but I don't yeah there you go top right and we've only got one thing in it so that's what we've got question is is it X that uses it yes it is <laughs> I've just wasted it to find that out, but never mind, people. Never mind. I had full health. It should not have done that. Ah, we've got another one. Excellent. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Must be a sprint button, for the love of God. No idea what it is, though. Ah, it's B. Ah, you see, I probably could have made that jump then. So there's a couple of differences to... Dark Souls. Faux show. Like B would have been sprint and then you would have hit the B again to get the sprint, but you don't need to do that in this. Just hit Y. Much easier. Getting a few healing potions there, aren't we? Where's my dude gone? So you can parry or block. Seems reasonable. Guy at the top there. Looks a bit ominous with the yellow sign above his head. Couple of folk here. Keep the light, hide it, keep it, save it. Very well. Not safe, not safe, never safe. <laughs> not safe, never safe. Keep the light, hide the light. Thank you. Oh, hello. More stamina.
I think I lost my dude when I uh, fell off the ledge. Whoa, hello. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there's my dude. Is that my dude? Looks like my dude. Yellow sign there must be your dude. There are those that thrive in perpetual night and would extinguish these fledgling rays. We must find the Ashen and protect it from the Elder Dark. <clears throat> Ashen. <laughs> Floating away in the water there. Here's my dude. How gorgeous is this game, people? No messing about. Wake up, shield, weapon. <laughs> You're right, dude. Nice moustache, my friend. Very nice indeed. Well, I'm almost positive this is 60 frames per second, which means we're probably going to try and keep these parts down to about 40 minutes because it will take much longer to render. I could render them in 30, but I'd like you guys to see it in all its glory. That's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Look. I love the art style, it's great. It's not like it's completely new art style, but certainly it's done really beautifully. Step into the light, Caroline. What a sight. Our world once more bathed in ashen light. You have felt the power of the Ashen and survived. We will need that strength of yours. The Ashen is still a sleeping child. Vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. Before we begin our journey, we must bind your spirit to a ritual stone. If misadventure takes you, the stone will act as a beacon from beyond death's veil. There's a ritual stone nearby in the district called Vagrant's Rest, but I will need my hammer and spark to awaken it. You must find them. Hammer and spark, got it. Hammer and spark, follow Jokel. All right, I've just got to follow my dude. Seems reasonable. Alright, is he gonna vanish if I don't... Jesus Christ, slow down dude. What's this stuff to find here? Open the map. Aha! Oh, hello. Can move it around. Doesn't seem to be any way of putting markers on it, however. Oh, A to try. Alright, so you can hit A on the quest and it'll uh, give you a marker to head to. And X is your rope. Yeah, X puts you to where your location is. We're the triangle, and he's the little blob. He seems to have stopped, actually. Oh, there you go. So it seems to have got a little bit more going on now. Still looks nice, but it's not. You can see it's not quite as not quite as smooth as it was a second ago without all that going on. 
But that's okay, people. That's okay. What's in here? Find Bataran's hammer and spark. Map updated. Bone spear. Bones of the earth take flight. All oh, right, these must be for throwing. It says you've got nine of them. Hmm. See what this happens then. All right, they're going to slot up at the top. If it's left bumper, possibly. Uh, I could do with some way of lighting up the room, people. Cool, that's dark, isn't it? <laughs> Here it is a cave, Steve. To be fair. Right, let's see what our oh hello. Let's see what our mark is saying on the map. Uh, we seem to have two. Spots to go to. Uh, does seem a bit like this cave was meant to lead somewhere, doesn't it? But I can't see a damn thing once a minute. No, okay. We'll go outside again and we'll see see how we've gone out here. Sprinting does use your stamina, you can see it up at the top. White's the poke. Nice. Dishing out the healing anyway. B to dodge seems reasonable. Fight! Oh, hello. Forgot my buttons already. Thick and hellfire. Forgot my shield button as well. That's a good start. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's hoping it's a good job he was there, isn't it? I hit the parry button instead of the bloody block button, and even when I did block it, didn't seem to do a great deal as it happens. So. Hey! Oh, easy. Okay, okay. Wasn't quite as bad as the first time, so we're getting there, people. Okay, smashable items. Whoa. Pretty open, actually. There's plenty of places to go, isn't there? It's not... I was expecting it to be a bit more linear, but it's not. Good job it's dishing out these health potions for a bit of fun at the minute. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not overly sure how to... Oh, shit. I'm not sure how to use my... No fucking good. What's the point of something you can throw if it don't bloody hit her? <laughs> so this is a dodging thing, obviously. Ah. 
All oh, right, it wants me to do one of the heavy attacks. I see, I see. It's actually telling me it wants me to do several of them so that I understand it. It's quite a good idea, that, actually. Right, we can go up to her, that's why. Fuck off, you. And I still haven't done a heavy attack. <laughs> Has he killed my guy? Oh no, he's still there. Fucking hell. It's a bit harsh. Don't seem to be getting much in the way. He seems to have a never ending supply of fucking supports, doesn't he? <laughs> Sapote! Don Sapote, that's what I'll call him from now on. Ah, uh, there's a ladder there. Oh no, I haven't been in there. Can we do a slide? No. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, hello. Son of a... Was not expecting you, sir. Sneaky little hobbits is. Max health. Plus two max health. Nice. Black ash and feather acquired. Right, looks like it's only the vases that are breakable then. What have we got here? Well, that seemed to be a permanent thing we just picked up. Scoria, 96. Crafting ingredients. Scoria is useful in crafting and decoration. Once mined as a currency at the mechanics, blah, blah. But that was... All oh, right, we've got Bataran's hammer. Right, so we can put stuff in here. Extra perks in slots. I don't know what that... Uh, okay, I don't know what that feather was doing then. Seems to be a permanent thing. Is there a... Stat section then? Yeah, i not sure it's got a level up system. I think it might just be based on things you pick up. Right, well, we need to head to that direction. Where's my dude gone? He might... Oh, there he is. Hey, dude! There's a lot to think about here, because I don't know where we end up if we die. I think the whole point is not to die until we get this thing made that this guy's going to make for us. stuff down here as well along with some enemies <laughs> have a little seat why don't you uh, well actually this could lead round couldn't it it does seem to suggest that it's hmm it does seem to suggest I've gone past it to be fair let's see, let's see. we can come back to the area can't we let's just Let's get our bearings, people. There's also something up there, look. One of those shriny type things. I like the run actually, it's quite smooth. Yeah, so it does seem to be suggesting we need to go this way. Let's do this way first. Um. Pickups over here as well.
broken iron club. Oh, hello. Jesus Christ, it doesn't pause in the menu like that, so rather. Equip two handed weapon. Hmm, do I want to do that though? Ooh, it's got a fair amount of damage on it. Jump between the two, I suppose. What? Check that out. <laughs> Boosh. Let's have a bit of that action then. Stick my shield until we got a bonfire lit, I think, or whatever it is that it's called in this game. What was that wire just got there? I'll climb up. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie, we need to find up. Ah, we can climb up here. Did we get that pick up? Yeah, I did. I picked it up when that guy was after me, didn't I? More dudes down there as it happens. It's the same in Dark Souls, isn't it? Every, everything you smash, very rare you ever get anything out of a smashed thing. Oh, I see me, me guy's got a health bar that's... Uh, I've just noticed that, actually, stupidly. So, he it must be that he can go down. I like the fact you can play this with a mate, though. Quite a nice idea, that. Bloody hell. Really? I don't think we're too far away from this thing now. Don't seem to get much in the way of pickups from the actual enemies, or if at all, that I've seen so far. Jury's Falls. Wow, check that out. A reindeer or something. Yeah, I need to try a heavy attack. I don't seem to have had the time to do one yet. Oh, hello. Oh, he's a bit of a beast, this guy. It's because he had a shield, I think. You don't spot him. Oh, hello, there's another one there. You don't spot him that easily, the way that they've designed it. It's quite clever. Can we sneak up on him? No. Oh, there's another bloody spear chucker as well, god damn it. Go on, go and get her. Nice work. There must be a level-up system, because I keep getting points, so there must be something I do with them. I think it'll all come to... It'll all come together, people. They'll tell us when they're good and ready. Uh, let's look at the map. Yeah, we're close, aren't we? Just over here. There's a yellow marker. Who's this dude? Ah, got a pick up from this guy. Nice work. It's a boat day. Three now, thank you. 
Right, let's get our uh, quest item here. Oh, hello. Oh, piss off. I never seem to get enough time to put me bloody moving. Okay. That seems to be that. We're going back to the dude now, are we? Uh, it doesn't seem to be all the way back, does it? It seems to be Vagrant's Nest where he was telling us that the... I think the fire was, effectively. Vagrant's Rest. Pretty sure we passed through this already. Uh. Aye, there's the dude down there, in fact. Hello, big fella. Give me my hammer. So I might awaken this sleeping stone. Sure. Touch the spark to the ritual stone. Bind your spirit to this place. Okay. Must be a safe point, I think. Town founded. You have claimed Vagrant's Rest. Woohoo! 17 G's, really? It's a strange amount of G's. So I assume... Yeah, it's like a bonfire. So I assume whenever I do that, it's going to save it there. Yeah, because there's no, there's no save button as such. So these are bonfires, effectively. Okay, well that's a perfect place to wrap it up as it happens, people. As, it's, as I say, is these 60 frames a second ones, uh, 60 frames per second games, which I think this is looking at what it's capturing at. Uh, although I'm saying that, but this area doesn't feel like it anymore. But um, the op the more open areas feel more sticky, but still nice, still still smooth, but certainly nowhere near as smooth as the, the caves. I wonder. Let's just test this theory while we're. I don't know if I can do it in game though. Can I? You can go into... Yeah, I wonder if that's why it's got a 1080p mode. Yeah, maybe. It could be that the... Uh, it could be that the 1080p mode's at a higher frame rate. But that begs the question as to what the hell this mode is, but anyway. <laughs> I'll have to Google that one, people. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll put it back to what it was. It felt okay to me. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the frame rates are slightly higher on the 1080p. So that would suggest that it's a 4K game in the Xbox One X. Um, and you can flip it to 1080p if uh, if you want the higher frame rates, but I think it's fine like that. And to be fair, I can only capture it 1080p anyway, so you won't be seeing it in 4K, but the, the frame rates will be the same. 
There you are. Well, that was an absolute joy, that. I might do a few more of those. Faux show. Uh, let me know what you think, people, in the comments below. You Dark Soulsy type people, let me know how you feel that compares. Didn't see much in the way of fighting, but it is effectively near as damn it, the Dark Souls buttons. Uh, and fighting mechanics, for that matter. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in Ashen on the Xbox One X, and I shall catch you all in the next part, folks. Take it easy. Bye.